Well, hello, one peas, and we're continuing on with our measurement unit today where we're going to be talking about area of composite shapes. Now, a composite shape is a more complicated shape. Uh, composite means composed of other things. So this um, composite shape is a large shape composed of smaller, simpler shapes. Um, so our goal, I can find the area of a shape that is made up of smaller, simpler shapes. So we're looking at the area of a composite figure and we're going to go through a couple of examples. A composite figure is a big shape made up of a lot of little shapes and you first need to split the shape into its smaller parts. So, and I'm just going to correct a grammar error here, that apostrophe should not be there. Okay, example number one, find the area of the following shape. So here's our idea, I've got a little light bulb there going off above your head. Idea, split into three rectangles and find the area of each, then add them together. So I want this whole area. So I'm going to split this into three rectangles um, by putting a line down here and a line down here. And when we communicate how we're doing this, it's best if you actually label these areas something. Um, we can call it one, two, and three. So that when we actually do our calculations down here, and you need to show me your calculations, I need to see them just in case you make a mistake so I can find out where that mistake was. Um, we're going to say, okay, I'm finding the area, and then just put the little one down beside it. Say. I'm finding the area of one. Now one is a rectangle and when we went over our basic shapes before we remembered that a rectangle is a length times a width and so in this case it's six times four which is easy enough six times four is twenty four and of course this is going to be twenty four square meters because it is measured in meters and we're finding area which changes our dimensions we have two dimensions so it's square meters. Now let's find the area of two the area of 2, again, is length times width because it's a rectangle. Every time you use a formula, you should write down that formula. Uh, and in this case, our width, now this 10.5 is for the whole side. So this is 3.5, is our length. And the width we don't know, so we're going to have to take a look at it and see if I can figure this out. Now this is actually pretty straightforward to find out. Um, because I know that this little piece in here is 2 meters and that this side across from it is 3.8 meters. So this whole thing here has to be 3.8 meters, the same as the side across from it because they're all rectangles. So this little piece in here has to be 1.8 in order for 1.8 and 2 to go together to make 3.8 of the whole side. And you can do those little calculations right on the diagram, just sh sort of show me what you're doing and, and write stuff down. So this width here is going to be 1.8 and now we have to do 3.5 times 1.8. 3.5 times 1.8 is 6.3. And again, this is going to be square meters. And then we do our area of 3. And our area of 3 is still a rectangle. So we're doing 3 times 3.8. And 3 times 3.8 is 11.4. And that is square meters. Uh, now I'm just going to move these couple of things up because now I'm going to say total area equals uh, we need to take all of these things because I need to add this rectangle to that rectangle to that rectangle to get the whole thing um, 24 plus 6.3 plus 11.4 and that's going to give me 30 41 point seven square meters. Okay, carrying on to our next shape. Now this next shape is a little bit different. Um, we want to find the area of the shaded region. So we've got this this gray part that we want to find. Now 
I'm going to do it a little bit differently because this is going to be a little bit harder to split up um, because of this hole in the middle. Uh, so here's the idea. We're going to treat this area as a big rectangle, um, but it's missing a few pieces. So I'm going to fill in, let's take the black pen and fill it in. I'm going to fill in this side. And I'm going to say, okay, now, now we've got this great big rectangle. So I'm going to say the area of the big. And you can do that kind of thing. Just that, that lets me know what you're doing. The area of the big is a rectangle. It's length times width. And the length is 13 meters. And then these sides is 8.5 plus 3.5, which is uh, 12. So it's 13 times 12. And you see that? That's 8 and 3 is 11, and then the 2.5s gives me 12. So we get 12 along that side. And so, of course, 13 times 12 is 156. And that's going to be square meters. Now, I don't want the whole thing. What I've just found here, and I'll use my highlighter, what I've just found is this whole area here. I found it all. But I didn't want all of that because that asked only for the shaded region. So this part in here and this part in here and this part in here I don't want. So I'm going to have to take them off of this. So I have to find those three little rectangles and luckily I've got two rectangles here that are exactly the same. So I'm just going to get rid of all of this highlighting. Okay, uh, And I'm going to label this as a 1 and I'm going to label both of these as 2 because they're exactly the same thing. So here's how we're going to do this. We're going to say area of 1 equals um, length times width. And if you saw, I wrote a 9 down there. I was getting way ahead of myself, which is 3 times 3, which is 9. And the area of 2, again, is a rectangle, so it's length times width, and it's going to be 3 times 3.5. 3 times 3.5, which is 10.5. And of course, both of these things are meters squared. So now if I want to find the shaded area, so I'm going to say area of the shaded. And I'm going to write this down just in, I call this pseudo math. I'm going to use some of the math symbols, but I'm going to use words too. So if I want to find the area of the shaded part, I take the area of the big that I found in the first place, and I subtract off the area of one and then I need to subtract off the area of 2, and I need to subtract that off twice because there's two of them. So 2 times the area of 2. So here's how I'm going to write it down. The area of the big was 156, we found that. And then the area of 1 is 9, so I have to subtract off 9. And then I have to subtract 2 of those 10.5s, which is 156 minus 9 uh, minus 21. And that is going to give us, that's going to give us 126 um, meters squared. Uh, so there's our final answer. And I'm just going to take the highlighter and highlight my final answer. Uh, next question. Find the area of the given shapes. Now this one has a triangle and a rectangle. Uh, but it's just two small shapes, so I can find the area of both. Um, individually, that shouldn't be a problem. Uh, we just have to remember that this 8 meters on this side also counts for the 8 meters on the triangle as well. Um, so we're first going to deal, let's deal with the triangle first. So we'll say we'll find the area of the triangle and I can use that little symbol there, area of the triangle equals uh, base times height over 2. Now the base on this is this thing because base and height always meet at a 90 degree angle and there's an understood 90 degree angle in there where the base and the height meet. So this is 8 times 3.5 divided by 2. 
and that's going to give us 14. And of course, this is in meters, and since we're finding area, it has to be meters squared. Uh, now let's find the area of the rectangle. Area of the rectangle, this is going to be pretty easy. Uh, a length times width. And the reason it's going to be really easy is because the width is 1. So we have to do 8 times 1, which is just 8. So then we say that the total equals the area of the triangle plus the area of the rectangle. And the area of the triangle was 14. And the area of the rectangle was 8. So the total area is 20 two meters squared. Uh, what's the next question? Ooh, this one looks complicated, but it's not because I'm going to show you a little trick here. Uh, here we have a circle and it's been removed from this end and added onto this end. So while the shape looks complicated, it's not because I can think of taking this piece off of this end and just tacking it on back over here. And that's the easiest way to think of this is that if I pull it off of here and put it onto here, now all I have is a rectangle. A rectangle that's 90 centimeters by 1.6 meters. Now the only thing that is that's left that is tricky is the fact that they gave us centimeters and meters and you can't use centimeters and meters in the same question. They have to either be both centimeters or both meters. So hopefully you remember how to change that. The easiest thing I think to do is to switch um, 1.6 meters into centimeters. And remember there's 100 centimeters in a meter. So 1 meter is 100 centimeters. So 1.6 meters is going to be 160 centimeters. And so we'll find this whole thing in centimeters. So if we take a look at this, if we take this circle and it plugs back in here, we don't even have to use the circle formula at all, even though there's circles involved here. It takes right off here, over here, and fits right into here. So the area is simply going to be um, length times width, which is going to be 90 by 160. And 90 by 160, 90 times 160 is 14,400. 14,400. And of course, this is going to be in square centimeters. And that brings us to the end of this lesson.